The men's 1,500 meters out on the track. Sydney Marie from Villanova set the collegiate mark back in 1981. Leo Manzano from Texas, the 2007 collegiate leader. Manzano and Lopez Lamont should be going head to head here. <laughs> here we go, men's 1,500 meters. Lamont from Northern Arizona. Manzano from Texas, also Vincent Rono from South Alabama. Yes, Vincent Rono is the defending champion, but taking a look at Manzano, he has won it all this year. He won the Midwest Regionals, he won the Big 12, and of course, Dwight mentioned that indoor title. So much was expected to him from him after his 2005 win, and he really struggled in 2006, but he is back on top of his game right now, right up towards the front of the pack in the burnt orange of the University of Texas, and that's Stephen Pfeiffer of Colorado taking the lead. Stephen Pfeiffer finished fifth here last year in this event. You gotta be worried about the range of Lamong though, because he's an 800 meter, was fourth in this meet in 2006, and he's also won the indoor 3000, so he has the strength, but he also has the speed. He can go with any pace. What a story Lamong is. He moved to the United States at the age of 16 from Northern Kenya, fled the Sudan at the age of six. He was adopted by foster parents in Tully, New York. Robert and Barbara Rogers. And Lamong is now flourishing at Northern Arizona. Stephen Pfeiffer out in front from Colorado. Had a chance to take a quick peek at Lamont. He's wearing the six right up on his chest in the sunglasses and in the dark color of Northern Arizona. He's now starting to move towards the front. It's still Pfeiffer of Colorado, and that's Manzano of Texas right behind. There is Lamont, the number six from Northern Arizona, putting himself in position. And Pfeiffer forging a very honest pace for a championship race out in 58 point for the first 400 meters, and he has not slowed down. Look at the leg turnover. And Manzano in second place from a small town, Marble Falls, Texas. He was born in Mexico, came to the United States at the age of four, has dual citizenship. And Manzano still keeping his sights on Pfeiffer. Manzano running behind the Colorado product, the senior. Well, Pfeiffer and Manzano have run against each other every single year at the old Big 12 championships. So Pfeiffer is the one I have watched year after year lead the pace because he knows that he does not have the leg speed of, for example, a Manzano or a Lamont, and he needs to continue to push the pace, hopefully snaking that strike out of the, the man right on his shoulder. Well, this should be fun. Bell lap in the men's 1500 meters. It doesn't appear as though anyone's backing off here. There's a group of five or six right up at the front that have stayed right with this pace. Pfeiffer continuing to push it. That's so hard to do that work, unusual in a championship setting. And here comes Manzano. Manzano has taken the lead, but Lamont is right on top of him. Piper has fallen by the wayside. But can Manzano, he has gathered himself, and he is in his sprint. Does he have enough strength to stay ahead? Manzano and Lamont. Vincent Rono is running third. Manzano shocked the track and field world, winning this event as a freshman two years ago. Leo Manzano. Going head to head with Lopez Lamont. Lamont passes Manzano. It's Lopez Lamont at the tape. The Northern Arizona sophomore in a time of 3.37.07. That is the best time this year collegiately. What is this is that? There's Lamont in second position. That's Vincent Rono swinging wide. But it was Lamont who was going to come through. Leo Manzano could not hold him off. We talked about Lamont being adopted by American parents, and he would like nothing best than to represent the United States. And take a look at that win, strong across the tape. Manzano was the one who did this two years ago, but this year it was Lamont who had too much strength. And downstairs to Dwight. Lopez, you never see that fast, you, that fast a time in a championship race. Were you surprised to see that it was going out so quickly? Yeah, I was surprised. I mean, I, I knew that it's going to be 
it's going to be fast. It's going to be all kickers race. So I stay back, relax, drop my shoulders, and just focus on that championship. And I came, I came home with the W. Yeah, baby. Four runners under 338 in a championship race. That's unheard of. Oh, I mean, it's all about about the uh, it's all about the kickers. I mean, but Zhang is an awesome guy. I mean, I like him a lot. I mean, he's a good kicker, and uh, I was privileged to go run with him. He's an awesome guy. Dwight, terrific stuff. Lopez Lamont from Northern Arizona. His mom and brothers still live in Kenya. Lamont is an NCAA champion as he rallies to knock off Leo Manzano. Seven competitors were under 340. What a race in the men's 1500 meters.